I am actually, I'm just disappointed. I think uh, the, the last speaker, Elijah Watson, pretty much nailed some of what I was going to say, that in a year when we're facing this very significant unresolved fiscal cliff for our public schools, in a year that we have this growing public school teacher retention crisis and pressing student mental health needs, sorry, that we're sitting here debating the merits of a bill that will do that will be nothing ultimately but a press release because that's all this is going to end up being is a press release that does not help real people and instead very much hurts kids and that to me is incredibly concerning i think we need to be keeping politics and discrimination out of our classrooms and I'd also like to make sure that the adults on school campuses aren't given license to discriminate, which this bill actually does. Uh, as a teacher, because I'm a teacher, I've said that before, this is my 33rd year, I still teach. I'm part-time, um, only in the morning, but I teach in a public school. Uh, and I know that the number one issue affecting our kids right now is mental health and it's a concern that i've heard here in this committee already and legalizing the discrimination against kids is not going to help that issue at all um i am also uh really concerned or i really want actually that the parents and community members out there who are listening to this committee today, I just want you to know that this bill is unlikely to become law, and I want you to know that we're going to be fighting discrimination in any form from becoming law in Arizona. Because really the bottom line, the bottom line in this is that we should be ensuring that all students have the kind of care and respect that they deserve instead of foreseeing more kids to actually need the mental health services that are so lacking in our schools. I'm disturbed and disappointed. Uh, and at the heart of this issue, I cannot help but think of the students in my own classroom who wonder, do I value and respect them for who they are? That has been my goal as a teacher since day one is to make sure that every child feels valued and respected no matter what their beliefs are no matter if they were doing spitballs eighth period the day before kids need to be in a learning environment where they feel respected and valued and this bill does not do that. This bill actually undercuts that. And the reason that I am so adamant about that is not only because just on a, from a moral framework, I want kids to feel valued and respected, but there's also practical reasons that students, you can do the research, students who feel safe in their learning environment, who feel seen by their educators, who want to, they will do more and go above and beyond what they even think that they are capable of doing because there is an adult in that room who sees them, values them, and respects them. And this bill undercuts that. And with that, I am an absolute hard no. Thank you, Senator.